before moving forward check out coding interview prep masterclass for preparing for interviews of product based companies it covers 70 plus problem solving patterns asked in top companies with detailed examples use code ayushi for 50% off for lifetime access the course is self curated by prateek singhal senior software engineer at amazon link will be in the description of the video hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel so today in this video we'll be discussing another problem problem is remove palindromic subsequences so it's very easy problem uh, let's see what the problem is you are given a string consisting only of letters a and b so this is very important guys see we are given a string and it only has a and b letters okay in a single step you can remove one palindromic sequence from s so in single step we can just remove one palindromic subsequence now there are two words involved palindromic and subsequence what we need to do is we need to return the minimum number of steps to make the string empty so what is a subsequence a subsequence uh, is a string which is formed by deleting some characters of the string without changing the order so for example if this is a string i want to get a subsequence from it so i can delete this b and this b and the rest of the characters a a a i can take or if i am i have the string a b a b a so what i can do i can take b a and this a so i can just remove this b and this a so b b a so this is what a subsequence is that is we can delete the uh, characters which are between but uh, see guys we cannot change we cannot arrange uh, re uh, reorder them that is i cannot write this as a b b so we cannot change the ordering of the letters just we can remove the letters which are in between so and what is palindrome palindrome is it uh, is one that reads the same backward as well as forward for example this string if you see the string it's a b a b a see if i read it from left to right if i read it from left to right it's a b a b a and if i read from right to left it's same right a b a b a so if we read it from left to right or we read it from right to left uh, it's same string so it's a palindrome so what we need to do is in each step right in a single step we can remove one palindrome subsequence so we need to find the palindrome in subsequence and we just we can remove it so we need to return the minimum number of steps which we uh, which is required to make the string empty now guys see it's very uh, easy problem just do one thing just pause the video and try to think i'll give you few hints first hint is that it has only a and b just see these test cases you will understand and you'll be able to think of the approach and uh, yeah we need to also here we need to just need to know the subsequence so here there is no substring or anything it's just subsequence so i hope you uh, got some uh, idea let's see the hints which are given here see first hint is use the fact that string contains only two characters so string only has a and b okay then second hint is c so what is second hint are subsequences composed of only one type of letter always palindromic strings what does that mean meaning that if we take a subsequence of only single letter consist of single letter then it will be obviously a palindrome right c we have a b test case was a b a b a all right so see over here what we can do what i see it has only two characters either a or b so what i can do we can take any we can take palindrome we have to remove palindromic subsequence right palindromic subsequence so subsequence we can take any characters right so they there they need not to be continuous we can take any characters so we can take a all the same like all the a's together like a a a we can, i at first step the first palindromic sequence subsequence i can take all the a's i i so a a a this will be a palindromic subsequence they see if you read it from left to right or you read it from right to left so it's a palindrome and also it's a sequence subsequence so this you can remove so after removing all the a's we will be left with bb all the uh, we will be only left with b's uh, and we can just remove them also in the second step 
in the second step right b b all the b's but over here see guys why we are using two steps why to use two steps this is itself a palindrome na this string this whole string is itself a palindrome so in the first step only we have to remove what we need to remove a palindromic subsequence na so we can just simply remove this only first in the first step since this is string is already a palindrome we can just simply remove all the characters and we'll get the empty string okay so this is one thing so if the string this string is already a palindrome if this string is already a palindrome only one step is needed to make this string empty now see this chess case this one b a a b b now here the approach which we discussed right now will come into picture so see b a b a a b b so what i will do first of all in the first step i will remove all the I, i'll take all the a subsequence uh, subsequence containing all the a a's i'll remove them so what i will uh, be left with b b b and then in the second step i will ta uh, take this subsequence which has all b's and i will remove it so at the end of second step we'll get the empty string so two steps needed two steps needed right two steps needed so now guys what you can conclude from this just think what you can conclude you can conclude that either answer will be one or either answer will be two every time why because if the string is already a palindrome uh, we can just simply remove it uh, in the entire string in the first step and only one step is needed to make it empty right and if it is not a palindrome like this is not a palindrome itself so what we will do first we will take all the a subsequences a uh, subsequence containing all the a's and then we'll take subsequence containing all the b's okay so yeah so like this if you have this a a b b a a b a b so something like this long string you have first of all what you will do you will take all this a's one a subsequence you will remove it so we will be left with b b b and then you will just remove this one so you will get two okay so let's see the code once very simple question uh here first of all I, i am checking if it is a palindrome like if the string this string if the whole string is in palindrome then answer will be one we will remove the string it's uh, in the first step only so if it uh, this is a co uh, code to check whether it's a palindrome or not how to check whether it's palindrome we take two variables i at the starting index of the string and j at the ending end of, of the string so see guys if it's a palindrome na like a b a b a if it's a palindrome so i will be here and j will be here if it's a palindrome so it will be same from left to right and right to left so these characters will match a a matches so i will come here i plus plus and j will decrement j minus one then this is also same so i plus plus and j minus one so they come at same position still they are same so once they are same position we will stop the loop here so this is how we check a palindrome for example if we have a b a b c so this will not be a palindrome because this character and this character is not matching right so this is what we are doing to check if it's a palindrome or not if any of the characters at i and j does not match then we'll set this boolean uh, flag is palindrome to false it's not palindrome so if it is a palindrome answer will be one otherwise answer will be two so i hope you understood the problem and the approach time complexity it's single loop so uh, it's o of uh, <coughs> the string's length uh, and uh, the space is a constant we are not using any extra space so if you found the video helpful please like it let me know in the comments if you have any doubts uh, and thanks for watching